My name is Dambisa Moyo. I am an economist and I am um, also an author. I write a lot about macroeconomic issues such as geopolitical aspects of the global economy as well as the impact on the financial markets and the economy. In the 1970s, on average, companies and, and portfolio managers would hold a stock for approximately um, seven years. Now, that number has gone down to about seven months. So that means that companies and CEOs are constantly trying to convince people not to sell their stock and to remain invested. And that means that longer term, from an investment perspective, companies find it very difficult to manage their businesses in terms of long-term strategic thinking. The idea of short-termism has really become much more aggressive in the last, I would say, 25 years. And if you go back to the 1970s, there's a, a sort of old wives' tale now in economics about how the Chinese premier was asked what he thought about the French Revolution. And he said it was too soon to tell. A lot of public policymakers look at that and they think about how China is very long-term in their thinking, whereas in, in the West, we tend to be very short-term in thinking. In business, a lot of the reasons for that short-termism has come from this idea of quarterly earnings, that every three months, businesses have to explain and show their financial performance in the preceding three months. The other aspect of short-termism has come from the, the electoral cycle. So the fact that we have elections so regularly, if you think about the United States, they have elections every two years. They have a presidential election every four years, and that means that actually, governments find it very difficult to enact public policy for very long-term problems such as education or infrastructure or pensions, which are, require intergenerational, very long-term thinking. In public policy or in politics, there's this idea that we might want to extend political terms. So instead of having um, multiple elections for a president or a prime minister, you might only have one election over a longer period of time. A senator in Brazil will be in office for nine years, but they only have one term. So the idea is that you can better match public policy and the politicians electoral cycle with the public policy challenges that we face. In the business sense, there's been a, a big groundswell towards getting rid of the quarterly earnings. If we can actually get businesses and CEOs to focus on the long term, they would not need to report their financials every three months. The resistance to remedying short-termism is that in the political frame, people don't necessarily like the idea of having one elected um, president or prime minister for such a long period of time. But also in the business realm, people are concerned that we're not able to hold companies to account if we can't speak to them or see them on a quarterly basis. And that means that there are, it's not a unanimous decision that we should be pursuing long-term ideals. In the context of business, one of the, the data points that I think is very interesting is that in 1935, the average lifespan of a company was about 90 years. Um, today, the average lifespan of a company is about 18 years, because most companies on the stock market actually will get bought or will become private. So there is this idea that we have moving away from this long-term um, considerations, and yet we may be on the planet much longer, and how we manage our own careers and our own lives as we stay on the planet longer, I think will have significant implications for how we actually enact and behave towards politics, but also how um, economic decisions are made in, through the business sphere. Next week, I'm actually going to be going back to Oxford University where I did my PhD. It was 20 years ago in 1997 when I first arrived in Oxford, and we thought the world was going to be incredibly globalized. And here we are today, um, 20 years later, where there are lots of questions about deglobalization and the concept of democracy is, is under challenge. Yeah.